despair. Despair and strife and pain. I wondered what kind of world could turn a blind eye to the cesspool we were all bathing in. And then I had an epiphany. A realization. Yeah. This world doesn't need saving. Cleansing. A second chance. It doesn't need to be shaped or influenced. No. It needs to burn. And I won't rest until I choke on the ashes and let the flames consume me. And you, listener, wherever you are, if you're lost, if you're suffering, if you're as pissed off as I am, come. Come to me like a moth to my flame. And if you're found worthy, then together, <laughs> oh, together, we'll put an end to this. But if you're found lacking, <laughs> oh, if you're not up to par, then you'll be tossed right onto the pyre with the rest of them. Either way, you'll serve me. Hang on to this message, and don't keep me waiting, little moth. So, you're the one. <laughs> I'll stare all I like. Or what? What threat does a moth pose to the flame? Huh? None. I don't care what your quirk is. I don't care where you've been, what you've done, who you know. Because none of that matters. What I need is to cut through all of that to the truth of the matter. To your heart. Because if you're not completely willing to give yourself to me and my cause, you won't be walking out of this alleyway. You won't be going home. You won't be anything anymore. Huh. There's something I need to make perfectly clear. There is no end game here. There is no solution other than pulling the plug on this whole damn world. It's a mercy. Dare I say, it's heroic. <laughs> I just need you to understand one thing. There's no... And then. There's no epilogue following this final chapter. Only... Finality. Darkness. Peace. Well... Point being... Some would say that's a bit grim. But I can think of no better way to end this story. To watch this world fade out would be... Oh, <laughs> delightful. My own well-being has factored into this equation in a long, long time. Neither will yours. So, that being said, do we have an understanding? Good. 
Very good. Now. Come closer. <laughs> oh. Obedience is a plus. You don't have to drop the sass, though. It keeps things... amusing. And it has been a while since I've been amused. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Villainy is a full-time job. And I've been working overtime. <laughs> Ah. Oh. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well. <laughs> Just don't be too amusing. There's a fine line between allies and distractions. Or so I've found. Hmm. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll need to test you, though. See how you handle yourself. A mission, then. Under my supervision. To determine if you're truly built for this line of work. You see, there's... There's a very, uh... Very bothersome individual who's... Put together a task force that's been a thorn in my side. You could say... You could say he's quite... Foul. <laughs> Come with me. And I'll tell you everything you need to know. 